Hello everyone, I wanted to make a short video to give you a, I don't know, kind of a nuts and bolts description of the uh, homework assignments, the, discu the um, discussions and the exams. Not like a technical discussion, but rather a uh, discussion of how to make sure you're maximizing your grade on these things and give you some expectations of, of what you will see. Okay, so let's start first with the uh, homework assignments. So in the homework assignments, again, homework assignments are done in Google Classroom. And when you look at it, it should look something like this, right? If you have any problems about how to actually get into Google Classroom, if you're not at that point yet, send me an email, let me know. Um, and I'll get make sure I get you to this point. But let's presume at this, let's presume that you can get into Google Classroom and you can see this, right? So here you can see I'm under Section One Homework, and I'm clicking on it. So what you can see here is that it does record, uh, uh, it does immediately record your email address. Um, for some, I, I make these myself, so I'm sorry. There's errors that are bound to happen. I'm not sure why name became the third question. It's supposed to be the first question, but you get the idea. It's free, huh? Um, but the homework assignments. These are just multiple choice questions, right? And when you do the multiple choice questions, what you then do is obviously hit submit. Now, this is important, what I'm about to say. What you then do is you then look at your score. Okay, so I give you the ability to, to change things around. So what you're able to do is say, oh, I got number one wrong. It's not that answer. Oh, I think it's this, right, or whatever. Um, you're able to go back and do it over again, taking note of what you got wrong. Okay, so I can see here I got those things wrong. Then what I would do is edit my response. And I would be editing or changing my answer to number one because I could see that it was wrong. So what does that mean? That means that unless you procrastinated and waited until the very last possible moment, which I'm not, listen, I'm glass houses. I am a bad procrastinator myself. Like if that's your situation, unfortunately there's not gonna be much to help you. But if you have planned ahead, Basically, what you can do is do each assignment uh, the number of times it takes to get 100%. And that's important because the homework assignments are count are worth 15% of your grade. So you should be redoing, redoing, redoing your homework assignments to get to 100%. If I am seeing scores that are less than 100%, uh, I'm not again at the at the end of the day like it's not um, you know it's the situation as it is right it's the summer and it's always a little tougher but I mean that's a, generally an indication that you know things were that you ran out of time to do things it's not a bad thing and then obviously you just accept the score that you you earned but if you are allotting sufficient time for this course you should be getting 100% on these homeworks. Okay, so that's it for my discussion of homeworks. Now let's talk about the discussion postings. And we can see these right here. So what you can see here is that <coughs> um, under yours, when you see it, you'll see something like, I want to answer it kind of thing. Okay, so you'll click on that and then it'll give you an opportunity to answer it. Now, so that you see what I'm seeing, this is what I'm seeing. Basically, I'm just seeing your responses like this. And I'll read those and then give you comments. So, I'm not expecting perfection because I'm not giving you a lot of instruction about what I want from you. I do not think you could write a response with less than, I don't know, 100 words. And I don't think you need to do more than 300 words. Now, I'm not saying that if you do something that's between 100 and 300, then you've done all you need to do. And that's why I'm kind of reluctant to say exactly number of words your response should be. The primary way 
that I will be grading you will be, I am looking for your engagement with the material. I'll repeat that again. I'm looking for your engagement with the material. Now, what does engagement exactly mean? So, doo -doo -doo, right, let's just say I'm a student and I'm reading this. I'm like, oh, man, Shiden, come on. Like, why are you making me do this? So I click on this, right, say some bad things about Shiden. And now I'm reading this, okay? So what I'm looking for as the person that's grading it, well, obviously I'm going to give Shiding an A here because I am him. So I'm going to be pretty happy. This guy looks crazy to be smiling and holding his credit card like that. Um... What you're trying to do here is you're reading this article and engagement could take the form of you saying, oh, that's like on page five of the textbook and that's a great example of that and then you talking about it a bit more. Or it's you saying, hey, this applies exactly to my situation. Let me explain to you how it applies to my situation. Or you creating a fictitious person and applying it to their situation. Or finding other articles online that talk about this same thing and you talking about them and showing them, basically citing them and showing them to me, right? Engagement, like a conversation, basically, right? And in any conversation, it's not that you are summarizing. I have read the article because I chose it. So you don't need to summarize the article for me. You need to engage with it, meaning create a conversation around it. Now... Your first one, your first discussion posting might not be perfect, and that's absolutely fine because what I'm then going to do is give you comments, and what I'm looking for is steady improvement in your discussion postings. Okay, then let's talk about the uh, exams. So the exams, uh, they're not going to be occurring in Google Classroom. I tried to start doing them that way, and it was not working out properly so let's uh, the way that they are the exams are done is in uh, La Lima so under econ 131 you will see tests and quizzes and you will start to see the uh, beginnings of the exam and if I view it like you <coughs> um, this is going to be adjusted slightly. This is going to be uh, three hours, not four hours. I was just playing around with this. Um, so this will be, again, the only change is that you will have three hours. So let's show you what this looks like. You will see here a timer that will clock down your time. Again, starting at three hours, not at four hours. And I'm showing you the first question here. So I'm showing you some of my cards here. There's going to be... Uh, 30 total questions, 25 of them multiple choice, 5 of them are going to be short answer. Now, once you start the exam, you have to do it in that time scenario. I'll repeat that again. Once you start the exam, you have to do it all in that one sitting. So find a block of time, do what you got to do to make sure you've got that block of time to do it. Um, so this is how you would see it, right? So we study economics because, and now I've got my choices here, right? And so then you would do, right? You would have your notes printed out. You would have different windows open, which you can do, right? This is open notes, open book, and you're basically determining the right answer, right? And you would select an answer and then say next. You could save as you're doing the exam. I would suggest that just in case something happens, I would save every time. Um, but basically you'll see this now you can hide this if you don't like that timer clocking things down for you but with three hours you should have more than enough time to do 25 multiple choice and five short answer um, I will be posting a study guide as well for this um, exam so that will be posted very shortly okay um, I think that should about do it um, if you have any questions, please email me. Please let me know. I have no way of knowing unless you tell me.